Now come and worship and bow down, and kneel before our Maker. You're our God, and we're your flock, the people of your pasture. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me, and thank you. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, November 28th, Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 133. And 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 12 to 24. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts and we have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may the almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. See how good and pleasant it is for friends to dwell in unity. Alleluia. Psalm 133. Alleluia. See how good and pleasant it is for friends to dwell together in unity. It's like the precious oil upon the head that ran down the beard of Aaron to the skirts of his robe, like the dew of Hermon that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there God commanded the blessing of life forevermore. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, see how good and pleasant it is for friends to dwell together in unity. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, beginning at verse 12. But we appeal to you, brothers and sisters, to respect those who labor among you and have charge of you in the Lord and admonish you. Esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. And we urge you, beloved, to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the words of prophets, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good, abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved, which art in heaven, 
holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow between Christians of every denomination, that we may heal the shameful divisions in your church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>